Welcome back to another video guys and today I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 11 in purple. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Same old kind of uh, thing Apple has been doing. The lift tab, the pull tab, comes right off. And I did go for the 128 this year and purple because I think it looked uh, the most refreshing. It looked really cool. The mint, the green, they call it green but it is mint. That looks cool too, but I think that this one just kind of stole my heart the second I saw it. And uh, it's going to be a good contrast compared to my red iPhone XR, which I got last year, which was the first non-black iPhone I've bought in a very long time. So, ready, set, there we go. Wow. I saw it in store, but I don't know, when, when you see it under this light and it's your own phone, it just looks so much cooler. So... Let's look at that. We lift it out of the box. So this year, Apple has uh, one thing I did notice right off the bat is, uh, A, the phone is now on top again. It wasn't for a very long time. And B, the phone comes in backward. So it always, it's always been that iPhones come in face first. Now they come in the backside up, which is actually a really, I like it. It's a nice change. Let's put it to the side for a second here and let's look at the box. All the same stuff, nothing too interesting. I don't want to waste your time here. You're probably seeing a bunch of these already. Ear pods, five watt charger, USB A to lightning. Okay, let me put this to the side and let's look at the phone. That's what we're all thinking about right now. And let's see, it feels about the same weight as the iPhone XR looks really nice i um i might be the minority here but i actually like the centered apple logo i'm not against it you know it was when i saw the first photos of it um the leaks about like three weeks ago i was kind of like oh i don't know but then i just realized it was just me because of the change you know whenever there's change of course you know you're just gonna have uh, a little bit of resistance there but i think that's this this move was good. I do like that the camera setup. I don't mind the camera setup either. It is a little bit different now. So we obviously have two cameras now, and everything is um, in this little square bump. Looks nice. Don't really have any complaints about the design like a lot of people did. Uh, otherwise, comparatively, it is very much so the same um, from the iPhone XR. So not a big change here. This is definitely a very minor upgrade uh for the iphone lineup as a whole but uh i think that the biggest change has to be that 50 dollar price decrease and the new camera which really is something that um it, do it does come out of left field i didn't expect apple to lower the price on a product so uh before i do anything let's remove the plastic and put a screen protector on real quick okay i actually kind of will miss the dual-sided uh uh, plastic unpeeling experience, but whatever. Ready, set. Oh yeah, every time that gets me. Every time, it it's such a. Anybody who's done this to a new phone knows it's something that's a very awesome experience. All right, so I have this Spy Gen. Um, it's called the Glass Tur Glass TR Easy Fit. Uh, I am not advertising this. I have not been paid by Spygen, but I am telling you, this is my favorite screen protector. It is so easy to install. All you got to do is just uh, put it on th like this. Oh, I, I forgot to remove the film. So all I got to do is remove the film. Just you got to put it down face front and. Press it in on the other side, press and slide like this, and you just got to wait about 30 seconds or so, and uh, you're good to go. So I do just want to kind of point out that the, um, well, this boots up, that the box is the iPhone and the Apple logo is color matched, and it's kind of nice and shiny and reflective, uh, like it was with previous um, iPhone XR models. So my product red phone had this red iPhone and then the red Apple logo. It's really a cool detail. Nice touch. Definitely 
like that Apple kept that around. We didn't have to. Okay, let's set up. I actually haven't updated my iPhone XR to iOS uh, 13 yet. It came out yesterday and I was just so busy I didn't bother. So let's go. And wow, look at that. All set up. So let's go into that camera. So new in camera. So right off the bat, they have this uh, new in camera dialogue that gives you a overview of the changes so the new shutter button and everything because now uh, long pressing the shutter button no longer is going to give you um, burst photos it's going to start recording video which is a new addition there so let's hit continue oh, nice look at that so let me just put my iphone here with the apple logo centered like this so you guys can see and let me tap the zoom out look at that that's insane. And the quality is looking real good too. And one thing I'm noticing is that it doesn't have the kind of fisheye wide angle uh, distortion as, as aggressively as the OnePlus 7 Pro does. So that's really awesome. And let's see the slider. Oh, okay. So you, I love the slider too. Look at that. It's awesome. Perfect. And oh, it even tells you, look at that how many millimeters it is. So right now it shows you 13 millimeters and the one X is 26 millimeters. If you guys can see right there, that's awesome. That's a cool little touch. I did not see anybody talk about that before. So that's a cool feature. And let's look at some of those. New okay. Let me try out that shutter thing. So let me try to take a quick video. Okay. So it's taking video, and if I slide to the right, it locks in and just normally records now, so I don't have to hold down the camera button. So they have this high key light mono uh, new th new feature. Let me try it out real quick. Oh damn, that actually, that's impressive. Look at that. That looks, you know, I, I am continuously, impressed that uh, Apple didn't leave these portrait modes as a gimmick. They, they always come up with these new, interesting looking ones that, uh, that just make it fun. Stage light mono. High key mono is where it just makes the background all black. Nice. Stage light. Not bad. Not still a little bit lacking on the edge detection, but uh, overall really impressive. So I'm going to test out the speakers real quick and see if I can notice any difference. And I'm going to mute out this so you guys don't have to listen to it. Okay, so um, just from first listen, uh, without comparing it to the iPhone uh, XR, I couldn't really see it. I couldn't really hear that much of a difference. One thing I can tell you is it feels like it's louder. But uh, I didn't hear any of the, you know, the surround thing they were talking about. I have no idea. If uh, it doesn't work on like online videos or if you have to be in music or what the case is. But uh, that is something I am interested in uh, kind of figuring out more as I go. All right. So one more feature I'd love to demonstrate for you guys, but I can't is dark mode. So that's going to be something I, I'm going to have to test out later at night or when I get out of the studio lighting environment where there's actually some darkness. So um, I might I'll just throw up a photo or two here of, of dark mode with uh and uh, compare it to the iPhone XR, just, just to see how it compares right here. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, I do want to share a few more things with you, especially with the night mode and all. I will do that in, um, I'll try to add, as I said, a few photos in this video, and then I will definitely be doing a more in-depth comparison of the XR versus the, 10, uh, the 11. And I'm just really happy with this phone, you know, looking at it, it's 750 bucks. It's got all the same features as um, it's got, okay, not all the same, but 90% of the iPhone 11 Pro experience you get on this. And it's just overall, I, I'm telling you, an excellent bargain. I really look forward to using this more throughout the uh, year and getting to know it more. I love this color. So if you guys are thinking about purple, highly recommend it. It's, it's definitely more on the lavender side. It's not a purple. It's like if there was a drop of purple in white, that's that's what it kind of looks like. It's a really 
really nice finish. And I think that if you if you like blues and if you like purple, you will definitely appreciate and enjoy this color. So, so if you guys do want to check out the screen protector I have installed on here, it's super easy, it's super cheap, and I think it's one of the uh, best ones. I've had it on my 10R since day one, and it has aged so well. Uh, it, it looks almost brand new till date. You can't even tell it's on there. You really gotta get uh, up close and personal with it, but it is an amazing product. Uh, not sponsored, I just really love it that much. So if you do wanna check that out, I do have a link down in the description below uh, to the Amazon page. And if you have any questions about the iPhone 11, please feel free to ask me down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe to the channel for more iPhone 11, 11 Pro Max, and Apple Watch Series 5 content. A lot of that is coming very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one.